Ah, hell. Welcome back. First off, I want to apologize for how long it took me to get this video out. I shot it several times. Um, first time sound went out. You know, typical problems, typical issues. Then that last time I had it from beginning to end. And it was like, this is it. This is the one, right? And then I noticed something. Funny thing about sweatpants. When you're sitting down to doing a review of, with sweatpants on, or you got a table in front of you, everything's fine. But the second you go to stand up, don't spear me! Sweatpants. I am a professional fight choreographer. I'm here to review Star Wars Episode II, The Clone Wars, just the lightsaber fights. Now remember, this is this years have passed because uh, uh, you, you know you've seen the movie. Um, What's his face? What's the little dude's name? Anakin. Anakin is, is older now. What is he, a teenager? He's chasing after... Hell, he caught Padme. Chase and... Well, it may have been chasing on both sides. Um, um, so, yeah, they're together now, right? All right? Cool. Um, that's enough. Here we go. Bam! All right, episode two. We got Dooku here. Whole new Sith Lord in the house, right? Anakin and Obi-Wan. All right, they're in there. They're, they're, they're a little excited. Maybe one of them is a little too excited because Obi-Wan is trying to break down some sort of a strategize. And Anakin is just like, F that. And he runs in and he... Got something to say? I got something to say about this. Um, it, Anakin looks like a dumbass right here. But let's take under consideration... Instead of just beating this fight scene down to the ground, let's take on a consideration that uh, he is a teenager. If that's not enough, his woman, the girl he loves, just got blown out of a ship on the, while chasing this dude. Matter of fact, he's the one that caused that to happen. Anakin's got a lot of things on his mind right now. He sees red, okay? And it ain't just his lightsaber, Dooku's. Um, so... He wants to get, she fell into the desert, right? You know how much, you know how he feels about sand. Okay. So, you know, this is a hostile planet. At least it has been ever since he got there. So, um, yeah. How about, how about we get this over with? Let's kill the Sith Lord as quickly as possible and get back to my woman, right? Oh, I messed up and I, I'm, I'm over here singed now. Look at this. Crispy. Okay. So, all right, we'll let that slide. Continuing. What else we got? Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan, you know, after taking that ass whooping from Darth Maul, he's like, you know what? Calm. I'm more mature now. Oh, lightning, but I got a lightsaber. Is this, okay, so also maybe the first time that they fought Dooku. How about we just say it's the first time they fought Dooku? Because the Clone War series comes after this. So first time fighting Dooku, what's this force lightning shit? Nobody told me about that. I was just going to run up and start swinging. Force lightning? He got projectile weapons now? So, and then Obi-Wan, he just saw it. So he's cool with, bah, I, got, I blocked it. You know, he was probably sweating. You know, he's probably thinking, I hope this works. <laughs> I hope this works. And it works. And he didn't break his poker face whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't do it with two hands because then I'm out. But, all right. So he got him. Bam. Talking some trash. Talking some trash. Whips out the the my whips out my third favorite hilt in the entire episode one through nine series. My third favorite hilt right there. That's uh uh Count Dooku's the curved hilt. Love it. You you love it too, don't you? You love it. So the curved hilt, all right? Bam. And what else? What do we have? Oh, we're gonna run it? Okay, coming in. Mm-hmm. Simple threes and fours. We're gonna jump. You know you didn't jump. You're 175 years old. You did not talking shit. So we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause. At this point, I'm watching this in the theater when this came out, and I'm not. I'm. You know. I'm. 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 I probably got my hands folded. Now, when it's now when they first walked in, I probably see what we do. I have a, there's a crew. There's me and my crew, martial artists and fight choreographers. We'll go, when when possible, we'll go see these movies together. And by these movies, I mean fight movies, not Star Wars movies. Star, we yeah, sure we'll see them too sometimes together. But you know, in general, a movie that's going to have some some you know knock around in it. 
you know, we'll watch the movies and we'll enjoy them. But when we when a fight is coming on and we and we and it's supposed to be a good fight, right? We've been waiting for it. You know, we go from however the hell we're sitting to we do that. I am not bullshitting. This is what we do, right? You'll see, and and it, it's like a domino effect. You know, all of us are like we lean for it. Show me what you got. And this fight scene being a little bit different than uh, the other ones, than the first one. We've only had one. Then the first one. Um, in the first one, they were able to uh, get the point across uh, without words, right? Just through their physicality, they were able to tell a story. They were able to tell the story that Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon were being outclassed by Darth Maul. Darth Maul was playing with them. Any martial artist out there watching this and any talented martial artist out there watching this, you've played with people you've fought before, sparred with before. You know, I like to play with my food. I'm notorious for playing with my food. Um, Darth Maul was playing with his food, okay? We saw that told physically. But in this one, this particular fight choreographer, and I don't know if it was the same one or a different one, but this time, this one chose to do it more in your face by talking shit. They're, they're, they're bantering back and forth verbally now, all right? Which it's a good thing he did because what they're doing physically, in my opinion, ain't, ain't, it's not. Is Obi-Wan going to get hit in the face again? Let's see. All right, moving on. Bam. Spinning, surely you can do better. And, and the thing about it is, he's talking about talking all this trash. You know, Yoda must, you know, hold you in high regard, all this other stuff. Obi Wan hasn't made a mistake, not one mistake yet. He's blocked everything, he's, he's done everything. Nothing's, he ain't slipping. So, so even though Dooku, he's not making any mistakes, Dooku is trying to get in his head, right? Okay, hey, Padme's doing all right. She got rescued, okay? But, um, but yeah, that's all that is. You should be when you're 175 years old, you know? Okay. More casual. Anakin's trying to shake it off. Lock the blades and I got you. I got you. I got your nose. Okay, so arm and leg. Could have taken him fully, but no, he's just going to cut. Okay, that part right there. That part right there showing his age. Notice that? <laughs> when Dooku, I wish they had taken that part out. Or maybe reshot it or something like that. Maybe there's a, a cut on the on the cutting room floor. Uh, he's a, he's the dude is old, and you can that part right there. You can really tell the way he. It seems like he's trying to pull up, a, and all the everything is just oh, cracking and just pulling and tearing. Right, he's old. Okay, y'all the mile toppers that hired this old dude to play a Sith Lord, and then put him in a fight scene. However, if you do that, then it's the fight choreographer's job to make that shit work. And they do the they do the uh, deep fake, you know, and all that good stuff. But um, moving on, and then we have what is it? Anakin jumps in, saves the day because he was about to kill Obi Wan, and he's talking more trash to Anakin now. Obi Wan's got the lightsaber, throws it over to Anakin. Bam! Anakin's got it, and here we go. Okay, I am going to stop it right there. He's gonna lose that lightsaber because Dooku's gonna cut the the uh, hilt instead of taking his hand. Um, I don't know. Maybe Dooku was going for the hand and got the hilt instead. Maybe Anakin pulled back just in time so that just the hilt got it. Highly possible. Fight choreographer didn't bother to show us that, or on the cutting room floor or the director just didn't shoot, you know, what, 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 you know, maybe the fight choreographer had that all in mind and somebody just didn't shoot it. I don't know. I will. I do know this though. Anakin, my brother, what the hell is this? What, what is that? You got two swords and that's the first thing you think about is that that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. huh? You got two swords. One is a shield. One is attack. One is block, one is attack. You put it in reverse grip and pop, 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 pop. Or you put them both forward and you get them in there and you get them in front of yourself and do this. But you don't do this, man. However, 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 I've choreographed sword fights with people who are not, you know, 
who are still in the beginner stage, you know, and I have straight up told them what you're doing doesn't look good now. You ain't ready yet. But if you take those swords out your hand and exchange them for lightsabers, even though what you're doing doesn't look that great, it will with lightsabers. People see lightsabers and, hey, you can even make mistakes and it's cool because you're swinging around lightsabers. Lightsabers are freaking cool. So even though uh, Anakin is staying alive, right, Saturday Night Fever or whatever you want to call it, he's got lightsabers. So, woo. Okay, moving on. He gets his, he gets his shit cut. Bam. Hits the floor. Now we got a single sword. Now... You could also say maybe maybe the fight choreographer is trying to tell the story of Anakin isn't proficient with two. Because if you notice, as soon as he lost that second one, oh, we get serious now. We get serious now. The room gets dark. Okay, I love the stance. That's all you can do is sit there and watch, Obi. Just just watch. Hey, at least your face is all right this time. Oh, okay. And, and back to, we're back to the club. You find them in the club. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't. Okay, now we got a wide shot with a stunt double. Deep fake. <sighs> All right. Okay. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, reasons why I don't like it. You remember in episode one when, when Obi-Wan and Darth Maul were fighting and, and, you know, we got YouTubers who have pointed out Oh, he wouldn't have hit him anyway with that strike. And they're right. Uh, and but here's the thing, though. If you're going to swing at air, you better swing at air like you and air got beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm like you, you, you walked into the club and you took air. I'm just, you know, what's up, man? I'm just over here trying to breathe. And here you are in my speed. Ah, and you swing at air. Okay, you swing it air like you and air don't get along. Y'all got history. Here, to me, the whole fight, I'm talking about even from, from the beginning, Obi-Wan, all the way till now, Anakin losing his arm. They look like they walking through it. They don't look like they, neither one of them looks like they want to finish the other guy. This is a fight, right? The loser dies. All right, now, okay, and see, here's that remember, long time ago, long, long, long time ago, at the beginning of the last video with episode one, and I said, you know, what's cool about Jedi and Sith is that uh, when you make, you know, uh, you can make, ex it, 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 it doesn't, it lends, it, you don't have to make as many excuses because of the force powers and all that stuff. Well, here you go, right here. If these weren't Jedi and Sith, I would be crapping all over this fight because there's no emotion. Like, at least in episode one fight, I could see some, I could see some stuff. There's no, especially that look on Qui-Gon's, but there's no, and then uh, with, with Obi-Wan doing the George Foreman. And when I say George Foreman, that is a reference to George Foreman when George Foreman came out of retirement and eventually fought for the heavyweight title against Evander Holyfield. In that fight, usually between rounds, the boxer will sit down. Uh, Foreman stood up the whole time. So if you notice in episode one, uh, when when the when the when the when the shields came up, Qui Gon sat down. Obi Wan was like George Foreman. So that, that's that whole reference. Regardless, um, yeah, they don't they don't look when 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 when, uh, when 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 we put a fight scene together, me and my crew. When we put a fight scene together, and when I say my crew, it ain't like I'm the shredder. No, we're all equal. When me and my crew put a fight scene together. Um, the shredder. I should have said splinter. Well, me and my crew put a fight scene together. Uh, we have levels of speed. Once we get it, I know the fight scene from beginning to end. Well, even before that, but once we get it, I know we know the fight scene from beginning to end. Let's rehearse. What speed you want? We gonna go Shatner. That is our slowest speed. Our slowest speed is called Shatner. All right, and we just you know. William Shatner, right? All right, and then if we want to bump it up, we go Mel Gibson, and by Mel Gibson, I mean Lethal Weapon 1, so we're going about that speed. 
which is, you know, you can get hurt. You can get hurt at that speed. And we can bump it up and bump it up. If we want to go really, really, really dramatic and then kind of slow at the same time, we can say Van Damme. I'm not trying to talk shit about Van Damme. But if you've seen a Van Damme movie, you know that he over-exaggerates with, you know, you know, you know that, that Van Damme with the, does a kick like three times and it's the same. <laughs> Talented. <laughs> we get to a Van Damme fight scene eventually. Regardless, um, yeah. So we have different speeds. We'll go all the way up to Wu Ping, and that's that's danger zone there, right? Uh, regardless, um, here I feel like they're stuck in. I say it's somewhere between Shatner and Mel Gibson. That's slow. Now, 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 let's give them an excuse. Where am I? How I'm, I'm, I'm reach in and I'm gonna pull an excuse out for you um, because this has happened in real. This has happened to me. And if it's happened to me, it's happened to other people, too. You will be rehearsing a fight. You get your fight down. Cool. Uh, let's let's go. Mel Gibson. Let's, let's go. Mel Gibson speed. Right. OK, that's a, that's a nice speed. Actually, that's a pretty, pretty nice speed, because even if you get hit, you ain't get hit that hard, but you ain't going too, too fast. All right, so we got Mel Gibson speed, and we're doing it from beginning to end. Bam. Cool. Want to run it again? Let's run it again. All right, doing it, doing it, doing it. Bam. Now, then you hear over on the side, got it, moving on. That was awesome. What? We got it. What, what you mean you got it? So, over on the side, while you were rehearsing, you were being filmed. Maybe you thought you were being filmed because you want to look at the footage a little bit later and see where you need to make adjustments. But the people with the money, they filmed it and they're like, we got it. OK, y'all don't have to do it again. And now you pissed. If it's me, I'm pissed because I just you just filmed a piece of chicken. When I could have gave you hot wings. What's a piece of chicken with no sauce on it, man? This has happened before. Why? Because a lot of people don't have respect for fight scenes. They don't respect fight choreographers for what they do, and they don't have respect for fight. Hell, there's a lot of fight choreographers that don't have respect. Uh, they don't have the knowledge to have the respect. Sometimes it's just a lack of knowledge, which is why when I was talking about in episode one, those looks on their faces was just telling the story. Go find some fight scenes by some amateurs. The only story they're telling is how hard they are. When they get a close up on their face, uh, yeah, we. That's that's the look. That's the only one they got, right? Because they suffer from, they 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 don't they don't they can't be they feel like they can't be vulnerable. Okay, no oh, man, you gotta show that man. Excuses for Jedi and Sith. We're, you know, one with the force, so we don't have to show looks on our face. So when you do a fight scene and you can't act, pick up a got pick up a lightsaber. And that'll make everything all right. <laughs> okay. Uh so maybe that's what happened. I'm sorry, um this is a rant I done went on, but maybe that's what happened. Maybe they got the wrong cut, but they got the wrong cut for the whole fight from beginning to end. Nah. Nah. It's a bad scene. But anyway. Hey, that, 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 what I just said can't happen from time to time, okay? Anakin just got, just lost his arm. Sit your ass down. All right, there we go. Cool. Dooku showing a little, uh, showing a little fatigue. That's cool. Yoda walks in. All right, so I'm sitting there. I'm sitting here with my friends, right? We watching this, All right? I got my buddy sitting next to me. And when Yoda walked in from that whole that whole part, I'm gonna back it up to you so you can talk. See what I'm talking about? We we go and you know Dooku's tired from that whole we you know I, you know we went from here to kind of to back to here, right? Because the fight scene wasn't that great. But then Yoda gets ready to walk in, and we sitting there, and then and this is exactly what we went oh shit. That's what we did when we saw our first time in the theater. I am not bull. I am not bullshitting. That's what we did. Okay, we cause, cause I mean, come on, that's cool. It's Yoda. We go way back. Of course, we want to see Yoda use. There's people. They should have never. They should have never put Yoda in a fight. Sit your ass down. They should have put Yoda in a fight scene. And we are glad they put Yoda. This is not high art. 
Give that man a fight. Uh, give him a, a lightsaber in a fight scene. So, you, you know, he's trying to bring the roof down on him. But Yoda's like, nah, I'm not having it. Do you know I'm Yoda? Right? So, roof, the roof, the roof. Okay, so Yoda's ready to fight. Come on, Dooku. Stop talking. Always talking. So Dooku was actually going to try Force Lightning on Yoda. I mean, I guess. I guess. You got it. You got it. Use it, right? You know, at the end of the fight, man, I should have used Force Lightning. Damn. Now I'm in jail or in hell or wherever Sith and Sith go when they get killed. So, but no, he used it. Oh, don't work. Don't try it again. Uh, especially since Yoda put that last batch in his pocket. Yoda, say that, say that for later. I might, you know, turn it green. And Anyway, uh, spare change. Um, Dooku comes up. Oh, he's got the red lightsaber. He is ready to Yoda. Don't even, he ain't even, he just go here. Comes to his hand. Give it to me. And he goes in. We was hype. We were hype, and there they go, swinging, spinning, and swinging, and swinging, and spinning right there. Okay, notice that part. Did you notice that? Ah, there's going to be a pop quiz. No, look, notice that part right there, that little uh, combo Dooku did. So Yoda, uh, he gets his lightsaber, jumps in. I was, I'm going to point it out to you if you didn't see it. you probably seen it. This movie's old. You see right going from here. Bop, 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 bop. Then they switch to another angle. Then here. Bop, 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 bop. Dooku does the same thing twice. They looped it. And this is, this is lazy. Just like the entire fight scene has been lazy, this is lazy too. Because, sure, in episode one, they looped a piece, a very small piece. But when they looped it, they had the wide shot the first time. And then they had a close up the second time. So you don't, you can't tell as good as much. Here, it's the same shot, the same, and you know, it's just lazy, man. It's just lazy. Not to mention Yoda's sword is so short. Who are you gonna hit with that little old thing? But I will say this: maybe you didn't tell. Maybe you couldn't tell. And I'm gonna tell you why you might not have been able to tell that they looped it. Since Yoda's CG. Sure, Dooku does the same thing twice, but because Yoda's CG, they can just, well, we'll CG him doing something different this time. Even though Dooku is doing the same thing twice, we'll CG Yoda doing something completely different. And maybe that'll throw some people off, and maybe for years it did. I mean, this was boring when it first came out, so I don't know. Uh, it, it didn't even matter, right? We didn't care because it, we were bored. I, I was bored. I was bored. This might be someone's favorite fight scene in the whole damn saga. And if it is, more power to him, okay? Not mine, all right? And I'm not going to tell you where it ranks, but it's not mine. Um, but yeah, looping it. Mm, mm, mm. We keep going. What can you, can we, can, give me something. Give me something, all right? I got some close, what, I don't, why did you, okay? I, I, I can't, what, all right, flip. You can't. Barrel rolls and then he comes in. You, you, a lot of talking. A lot of talking. I would have preferred a little less talking and more. Tell me the story through your actions. I would have because you're in a you're in the middle of a life or death. Fight is over. Fight is over. Dooku ran away. Okay, so that's fine. Yoda's gonna save the day, ish. Um, everybody lives. I'm sure we're gonna get some back to tank action. Um, not good y'all it's lazy uh there's no intent you need intent that's where that sauce comes from for the, for the, putting your sauce on the chicken intent you get a get, some, get a dab of intent on there right some emotion right you know now i know jedi and said they don't have to show emotion but intent you know just swing just a little bit faster maybe you keep your stoic face but can you swing faster um what would have made that better with Yoda and Dooku is if it had been a puppet instead of CG. And I know that's hard to do, but that would have been funny if they had a puppet on some strings. Imagine <laughs> just them. You put I don't care what movie it is. You put a puppet in it. And I'm, I'm happy. Get a puppet. Just have like somebody on the side. Just like you ready for some Yoda. Yeah, we ready for some Yoda action and just throw that. Just throw Yoda through the air. 
Velcro lightsaber to his hand and just have Dooku just, uh, you know, just, you know, just, God, that would have been cool. That would have been cool. But we didn't get that, and it wasn't cool. Uh, I don't like this fight scene. This fight scene needed more, a lot more. Heart, a lot more. Heart and soul. The fight choreographer, hey, I don't know what battles he had to go through on the set. Or if he or she had to go through battles at all. Uh, I hope this person did. Because that would be an excuse. If this person did not and this was the finished product. Well, you did a poor job. Okay. In my opinion. In my opinion. and As, as a fight choreographer. Alright. Um, yeah. Well. I just reviewed episode two. Hope I didn't hurt nobody's feelings. Um, you know, hey, we all got our favorites and we all have our likes and dislikes. Uh, next time, we got episode three. Uh, and, and you know, try not to take as long to get this the, the, the review out, but I will tell you this. There's a whole lot of fighting in episode three. You got... What you got? You got Dooku coming back to fight Anakin and Obi-Wan again. You got, um, you got Obi-Wan versus Anakin. You got Dooku versus, no, he's dead. You got Sidious, oh, spoiler alert. You, you got Sidious versus Mace. You got Sidious versus Yoda. But it might be, we might have to break that video up in the, in the sections, in the like two-parter. It's a two-part. Anyway, we good? I'm out.